In uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can uh, use shape keys in Blender 3.6. So I'm uh, just going to add um, cube. And here we're going to use this cube. I'm going to use this cube to show you how you can use shape keys, which are could be found here in object properties. And uh, here we have um, material, texture, and data. Here in data properties, we also have object properties. So not in object properties, in data properties, we have shape keys. So make sure you expand the shape keys. I mean, it's already expanded. And uh, here, what you can do is just to add, click on this plus and you add a basics, which this basic includes, will include here the basic. Um, they were this form this form right this is the default whoa uh, this is the default shape in basics here but now if you add another one and now you go to edit mode and let's say and press on tree and i'm gonna um, just change this now what can i do here is i can simply animate this which is really cool because you can now create maybe this goes up and now we can create something here this will go so what you can do is maybe add um, or even here you can extrude this or not grab um, yeah let's just extrude this a little bit and now we go here and now look what can we create now you can uh, go here and press i this will insert the keyframe and around here we just increase the value and we hover over value and press i to add another keyframe select press a here to select all the keyframes press t and now we can select here bounce maybe and look and we have this effect so yeah uh, shape keys are very simple i don't use them a lot um, but i will use the, uh, them in the future i use shape keys in the future but the basics is guys as i said you can animate this very easily and it's very helpful when you're trying to animate a character just something you're trying to animate some parts you can do it by the way just something you should remember if you add a um, subdivision modifier let's say and now you go to you to data properties and here in shape key you add another one and you change here something let's say like this you change now think here you can't remove this modifier i mean you can't remove the modifier but you can't apply the modifier modifier cannot be applied to a mesh with the shape key so just something you have to keep in mind um you can re you can remove the modifier sorry but you cannot apply the modifier if i'm a shortcut to apply the modifier is control a and i'm trying to do this it's not working you can apply here here it's just not working but yeah i really hope guys you found this valuable if you learned something make sure you subscribe i will really appreciate this thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care